Hi, welcome to PC Builder. I'm Jason. Going to do a little bit of a, a different video today. I just posted my uh, Ryzen 5900X and RTX 3070 build that I'm going to put together very soon. And I know a lot of you are like, well, this is great, Jason, but how the heck do I even get these parts? And I know a lot of people assume, just because I'm a YouTuber, uh, although I'm not a very big channel, that I, I got these things sent to me. But I didn't. In fact, um, I bought the, uh, uh, the 3070 here. I bought the 5900X. I have a 3060 Ti coming. And I was able to get all these because I used a couple of tricks that a lot of early adopters, people who often buy stuff early, probably know. But it's probably not widely disseminated to the, the larger PC building community. So I thought I'd make a, a very short video today just to show you what I'm doing and why I'm being successful at it. It's no guarantee that you're going to be successful, but I think it's going to give you a leg up in terms of getting some of these products earlier than you would otherwise. So let's jump into it and I'll show you what I do. The first thing you have to be, you have to do is you have to be ready to check out immediately and you have to remove all the roadblocks between getting that thing in your cart and then at the end being able to check out. So that means number one, you got to log in. Well, I'm not signed in here. So even if I went to the 5800X combo deals, and we'll get to these on, on uh, Newegg in a second because that's how they're selling everything. If I was able to add one of these things right now and I clicked add, right? Pretend that's add. Well, the first thing it's gonna do is gonna say, oh, you're not signed in. I am then gonna have to get signed in. I gotta enter my password unless I've got it on, you know, Google remembering it or something. That all just eats up valuable time. So be signed in. Have your credit card information in your account and ready to go on default and be ready to just check out as quickly as possible. The second thing in terms of checking out you're going to want to remember is that when you go on most of these sites to add something with a significant value to it, such as a motherboard or a CPU or a graphics card, let's just grab, uh, grab something, uh, great, a Z490. When we go to add this to our cart, what's going to happen? Are we going to go straight to the cart? No. We're going to get a nice little pop-up that says, do we want to add an insurance plan to it? And honestly, at every step here, you're going to have moments to do this. If you're not ready to hit no thanks and you add it to the cart and then you're in the cart and you're trying to delete the stupid thing, afterwards, you're losing valuable time. So just think through the entire order process itself including when you're about to check out, especially on Newegg, it always asks you for the three digit verification code from the back of the card. And when you go to add that in, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want you guys to see, I don't wanna uh, expose all my details. But when you go onto that form, there's a little box in the bottom left hand corner to fill that in. It's not even anywhere near the checkout. And you can keep spamming, hey, I wanna check out and think, oh, it's just the site being slow. No, you're missing the stupid little three digit code. So just be ready, have all of your information together. That's gonna to separate you from getting the thing and telling a story about, oh, I had it in my cart, but I couldn't get it. Now that you're logged in on all of your accounts and all of your accounts are ready to go and you've kind of practiced getting through the checkout sequence, at least in Newegg and Amazon, I would definitely do that. And you're ready for little curveballs to be thrown at you, like the insurance policy thing to pop up. Uh, and get rid of that really quick, and the three digit code. Now you wanna set up your browser and just have this always open and ready to go for when we get to the next step. So how do you do that? Well, you wanna make sure, especially Amazon will not let you just search for a product if it's not currently available. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to Google and you go Amazon Ryzen 5800X. And there it is right there. And then you click on the product link and now it's ready to go and you can hit F5. F5 reloads the browser, if you don't know that, learn that. Now you've got this one ready to go and what I do now is I just go ahead and pin it up here. Just pin it, <laughs> it's ready to go. I do the same thing for Newegg, so let's go to Newegg. Newegg often uh, will let you see the combo deals ahead of time. They're selling everything through combo deals right now. So if I was trying to get a 5800X, here's all the combos for 5800X and then I would go ahead and pin this you can pin Best Buy, you can pin Walmart. I'm not having a lot of luck with Best Buy or Walmart. Amazon and Newegg thus far have been the ones that have worked for me. Have all this stuff pinned and ready to go. So when we go to the next step, which is where do you get this information from when things drop? 
Let's start off with Newegg because Newegg right now is dropping just about every day. They haven't dropped this weekend so far at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. And that's both in Newegg Canada as well as Newegg US. You also, if you're in another region, check out your local retailers. Look at their Twitter presence. Newegg has been trying to announce three to five minutes ahead of time, not a lot of time, but three to five minutes ahead when they are gonna have drops and what they are dropping. So for instance, uh, again, they haven't dropped anything yet today. It's only five o'clock Eastern. I'm kind of hoping that they will. I still wanna get maybe a 5800X for a streaming build. Um, but just go through their tweets. And, and remember, click their tweets and the replies because for some reason they keep replying to the old tweets and it doesn't appear on the front of their Twitter page unless you click tweets and replies. You know, you can also just use your phone for this if you want. Um, and then as we scroll down here, you can see that on the third, they, they announced a drop at 6.57 p.m. That's three minutes before it actually happened. So what you wanna do at just before 7 p.m. Eastern, I would be refreshing their Twitter page, again, with the tweets and replies on, and just see if they're saying anything about it. Um, the problem on the fourth, they actually did more drops, but they were replying to the same thread, so it just kinda of got eaten in the thread, and again, it wasn't on the front page. So you just gotta keep refreshing um, here they're saying they weren't expecting any more restocks over the weekend, but their Twitter team and their stock team are two different things apparently, if the, as they've said. So I'm just assuming 7 p.m. or 6.55 p.m. Eastern every day, here I am at Newegg for 15 to 20 minutes to see if they're gonna drop anything. Now, when Newegg is dropping things, they are dropping them with combo deals. So the next thing that you need to do in order to be ready for this, go through the combo deals for the ones that you're looking for. They are not selling the individual cards or individual processes right now. It's really frustrating. I think it's kind of a, it's it's bad. I don't agree with the practice. They're basically bundling stuff that they wanna get rid of to force you to buy that in order to get the thing that you really want. Well, <clears throat> what happened is that, for instance, when I bought this 3070, uh, RTX 37, the Gigabyte one, I ended up buying a power supply most of the Gigabyte power supplies are pretty good, but I had moments to decide, and I decided I wanted this card very quickly, grab the power supply, assuming, oh, it can't be that bad. Well, go to find out, I look at the Linus Tech Tips thing as soon as I checked out, and sure enough, that was rated on the potentially hazardous ones, and then I watched a teardown video of it where it actually exploded. So, yeah, I sent it back. <laughs> but I'm gonna get charged a restocking fee, I'm gonna get charged the sh return shipping for it. You don't wanna to have to go through that. So go through their combo deals, figure out what you want. So for instance, I guarantee you that you don't want a 5800X with 3000 DDR4 3000 speed memory. Like who the heck wants that? That is slow memory for Ryzen. You would not want this combo deal. So you don't wanna waste valuable time figuring it out. On the other hand, there, here's one if you want memory with it. This, this comes with 16 gigs of DDR4-3600, and this is CL18. I know that because I've looked through all the combo deals already. So look through all the combo deals for the whatever you're looking for, whether it's a Radeon RX 6000 series, uh, an NVIDIA 3000 series, or a Ryzen 5000 series. Look through all the combo deals. Know what you want already and have those ready to go, even on individual pages. Okay, so the next thing I wanna introduce you to is there are streams of people who are running basically stock checkers right now. These are bots that are just checking for stock. They're not actually buying them, they're just checking. And you can jump on a stream with literally thousands of other people um, on either Twitch or YouTube, and you can just sit here and they will play an alarm when it comes up and they've set the price alerts and everything so really, you're just kind of piggybacking on their existing efforts, and they will often post right here in the chat, they will post the links to the cards or, or processors that drop. Um, Falcodrin, I don't know how to say this. I'll have links down in uh, the description of some of the ones that I've been following. So they're doing this work, and basically you are just ensuring that when something drops, you're notified about it and you're ready to go. Now, if you have this pinned up here, for instance, in your browser, how are you gonna know if you have a couple of these pinned? Well, there will be a little speaker icon that uh, pops up in Chrome to tell you 
in fact, that's the, that is the tab that is making noise. So you can quickly click on it. You come down here, you okay, it's, it's at Amazon. So I'm gonna click on Amazon and here I am ready to go on my, on my page. I'm gonna hit F5, refresh, and I'm gonna click uh, buy now. And, and I'm gonna dodge the, the insurance page when that comes up. I'm gonna click, no, I don't want the insurance. Amazon, I've been having trouble getting things actually into my cart. You, then you gotta go back, reload it, back, reload it, back, reload it until you eventually dump something into the cart. But I did get a 5900X on it. This is another example of a, a YouTube stream. Same thing, I would pin this to my browser. I do wanna just briefly say a little bit about botting because I think this will probably get brought up in the video uh, comments, right? So right now there's a lot of people running around using bots to blow the market up basically. Retailers have been absolutely unable to really do anything about it or unable or unwilling to do anything about it. NVIDIA, uh, you know, AMD, nobody seems to be doing much about it. So I actually see these folks that are using bots and posting it on a live stream so that real human beings can actually get the benefit of that and buy the actual product. These are the actual end users I see these folks as doing a service. In, in fact, to me, this is anti-botting. This is an anti-botting weapon that's putting regular people like you and me on at least a somewhat more equal playing field to the people who are running the bots that also then automatically purchase the product. So that's why in terms of the just the ethics of this, I actually think this is a positive thing given the lack of, well, let's just call it a lack of success on, on behalf of uh, the, the retailers and the manufacturers in terms of combating botting in the first place. So if you can't combat it, then consumers are gonna to have to do something. And I really like that consumers have gotten together here to do this, to put us on an equal playing field, somewhat equal playing field with the bots. Bots are still faster than we are, but at least it gives us an opportunity to get the product. So that's the basics of it. You need to be ready to go. All the hurdles between getting something in your cart and actually checking out should have been automatically cleared. You need to go through all the combo deals at Newegg, know which ones you're gonna target, have those pages already pulled up and pinned into your browser, set up the monitoring like we, like we talked about at watch the Newegg Twitter, especially around seven o'clock Eastern or just minutes before. Uh, what, you know, Log on to some of these streamers that are doing this either on Twitch or YouTube uh, where they're doing stock checkers and just be ready to go at all times. As soon as something dings, you jump in there, you add it to your cart as quick as you can and you try and check out. It took me several times of doing that and things dropping before I got something, but I, I've been able to get you know a 5900X, which is really hard to get processor right now, a 3070, it's not the easiest card to get, and a 3060 Ti, which, you know, which just dropped. So that's what I would recommend to you Happy hunting. Remember to stay in a really zen place with this. You're gonna fail more than you're gonna succeed. So don't give up. Just keep coming at it. Don't get frustrated. Eventually there will be enough stock and you will get something. This might just help you get it a little sooner. So if you got value out of this video, please give it a like. Um, as always, you know this is the kind of content I, well not shopping necessarily, but PC building content to condense down all the technical details and give you the best price of performance in your builds. So if you get value out of that, subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when we go live. Thank you very much and happy hunting. Come, 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 come on.